I wanted to record a daytime video to show how I do polar alignment with the, uh, the Ringo Astro RST 135 um, and uh, the ASA Air Pro, which is the portable computer. Um, this is an Indie driver based. I was able to talk directly with the mount using the Indie driver. And uh, yeah, I'll walk you through how I have this connected and also how I set up uh, the app and uh, in the night I'll walk you through how we actually perform the polar alignment. So I'm going to show you the physical assembly right now. Um, so what we need is the tripod leveled and set up and uh, your mount you want to place it on the tripod and facing uh, roughly north towards the north celestial pole. Um, this particular tripod is the Inorel tripod. You know, if I if I loosen this clutch, I'm uh, I'm able to rotate the mount on a on a flat axis. So it helps me uh, get more or less roughly polar aligned uh, on one axis. So once we have that. Um, you also want to make sure your altitude is you know, roughly roughly correct. Uh, you you can read the instructions here, but you know you you loosen the loosen uh, the screw over there, and you can you can use this knob to you know adjust your altitude. Um, but yeah, we'll get to that. But uh, this is, at this point, you just want to do a rough, rough uh, adjustments. And uh, once you have that, uh, you bring your telescope and uh, you mount it in the home position. So from the mount perspective, it's, uh, it's still horizontal. You're not looking up at the sky. It's looking from the, in the north, northern hemisphere. The telescope will be pointing west. So this is the position you'll start with. Uh, and the telescope is connected to a camera and the camera is connected to a USB 3 port on the ASI Air Pro. Uh, the ASI Air Pro is also connected uh, from a USB 2 port into the mount's USB port. So essentially the images that we take from the OTA can be used for plate solving and uh, once the ASI Air Pro computes the location it can send instructions to you know move the mount uh, so this is useful during polar polar alignment because uh, it can automatically rotate the mount in the RA axis uh, to uh, calculate the polar alignment error so yeah this is the physical setup uh, once again very quick we'll redo so we have the power supply uh, this is a white box that I'll do a separate video on it. Uh, That's my portable Ethernet uh, router. We don't need that for today. Uh, we just need a power supply uh, that comes in into the uh, SAR Pro. The power output, I take it and feed it into the RST 135. And then I take a uh, USB 2 port uh, to connect it into the mount. This is just to control the mount. Uh, and to also read the current deck and array axis and positions and all the other things. Uh, and then uh, we have the uh, telescope, OTA tube with all the extensions and the image train that you need. Finally to the camera. And from camera you want to take a USB 3 cable and connect to ASA Air Pro's USB 3. Uh, yeah, this is the physical setup you need. In the night, we will do a uh, actual polar alignment routine. Um, so, yeah, it's done. so we have the equipment now all connected. I'm now going to um, go go through the app. So now let's go through the app. Um, so the main thing you want to make sure are you know, you have a um, you know, the same network where you're able to talk to the ASA Pro with the iPad as usual, and come to the camera tab, 
select the right camera uh, so make sure you specify the correct focal length if you don't know the focal length just put in a zero and uh, ASI Pro will compute the focal length for you when it is performing the plate solve and uh, I typically also specify a high gain so, you know so that allows me to take quick photos um, that's it I don't need cooling or anti dew for plate solve during uh, you know, polar alignment sessions but I uh, always make sure to use it when I'm doing an image imaging session so we'll leave that for now and then switch to the telescope tab you select the Rainbow Astro RST from the drop-down. That is a supported protocol by default. And uh, you want to make sure you're connected using the USB port type. So you want to make sure that's USB over here. And uh, everything else is just the default. Tracking is off, um, that's the default as well. And you want to make sure you start at the home position. I just always start at the home position. So the scope is pointing west. So from here, what I do is I just go into the preview tab. And then I just press the deck axis button. Just slew the telescope up. The scope is now pointing roughly at, I think, at uh, Polaris. So let's just take a shot and confirm. Um, this is also a good time to make sure, you know, Polaris is, um, or, or the stars are visible um, and uh, the, the, it's, the, it's not blurry and so forth. Uh, let's, let's just try plate solving it. Okay, there we go, plate solve worked. So this should be good. So now let's switch into, go on the preview, select PA and just press the play button so it'll take an image it'll solve and it'll automatically rotate the RA axis by 60 degrees and it's going to take another photo and it'll play solve and it's now aware of the polar alignment error so now you click on the let's go button it'll tell you what's the polar alignment error so now you use the the physical knobs on the mount and perform the polar alignment so i typically also of course press the auto button the checkbox and it'll continuously take the photo for you at this point is more or less just like a uh, you know pole master um, so yeah so that's that's the procedure so now after this I just loosen the bolts here and let's see I need to go down a bit and I need to go right so you loosen on the left let's see where we are give it a couple of seconds after you make changes because it has to take a photo plate solve and all the feedback and it takes like a couple seconds so just wait for it to settle so now it's telling me i need to go up and go a lot more to the left So you see the solving failure, it just means the, the picture was blurry, um, that is expected.
because you are removing the mount the photos will not be sharp so it will take one more photo and uh, the stars will not have any trails on them so it will be able to solve that so yeah that's like six minutes so anyway i think you got the point so you, you just iterate on this process it will take a photo it will give you feedback you adjust the knobs and then it takes another picture it gives you one more feedback and you just continue on that and uh, you finally pull it a line and once you're comfortable you press the stop button or finish once it's uh, once it reaches less than two arc minutes there will be a finish button at the bottom you press that and then you're done um, I'll just stop this just for the demonstration uh, I always like to go to the home position and hope that was useful let me know if you have any questions